my wallet is shaking with what Nintendo has in store this year. What's up everybody, Johnny Bell here, back again with another video. I wanted to talk about how excited I am for Nintendo's Fall 2021 lineup. They have a bunch of things planned and I'm going to be spending a whole bunch of money this year. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I also stream over on Twitch like three or four times a week. I've been streaming Smash Bros, Pokemon Unite, anything Nintendo. But if YouTube gets traction again, I might come back here and stream. Just let me know in the comments if you want me to stream on the YouTube channel instead of Twitch. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But let's get into this. Let's talk about the games. First up on September 10th, my birthday, we're getting WarioWare Get It Together. Now, I've never really played any WarioWare games. Uh, I've been a Nintendo fan for a very long time. They just never piqued my interest. But a ton of people have been talking about this, and a lot of people are excited about it. The demo just came out. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks fun. The mini games look ridiculous from picking somebody's nose to plucking armpit hair. Just an absurd game, but it looks like a blast. And since it's coming out on my birthday, I'm just going to treat myself to a birthday present and get the WarioWare game, get it together, and I'll let you know how I feel about it. Next up, we probably have my most anticipated game this year, and that is Metroid Dread. Now, I'm a huge Metroid fan. I've been playing Metroid games ever since I was a little kid. I remember getting Metroid Prime from my uncle and that just made me fall in love with the series i played metroid fusion on the game boy advance i played the Met metroid 1 metroid 2 super metroid i played metroid samus returns on the 3ds i played the majority of metroid games and i love every single one of them from what i played now i didn't finish metroid samus returns because it came out very late in the 3ds life cycle and I just kind of fell off of the 3DS at that point. But I do want to go back and maybe check it out before the game comes out. But we only got like a month left now, so I don't have that much time. But this game looks incredible. The movement looks smooth. They have the counter from Metroid Samus Returns because it is from the same developers as Metroid Samus Returns. So it's going to feel a lot like that game. It just looks very smooth. I love how the graphics look. I know it's a 2D platformer and it's hard to get some details in there, but they just released a trailer. I'm probably going to have it up as B-roll and they showed some enemies that just look awesome. Like there's a big Chozo robot, I believe, and they showed Kraid. I wish they would have kept that under their belt, but Kraid is in this game. It's just a throwback to Super Metroid. I can't express how excited I am for this game and I hope it lives up to the expectations and I hope people buy it. A lot of people are hyped for this game, but that doesn't mean anything. You gotta buy this game. Buy Metroid Dread. In late October, we have Mario Party Superstars. Now I didn't have an N64 growing up, but I did play some N64 Mario Party with my friends back in the day but I don't remember the games at all. I just know everybody loves the Mario Parties on the N64, and Mario Party Superstars is a collection of those games and boards, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how these games translate into a modern platform. I was not a huge fan of Super Mario Party, but that's because I didn't really have anybody to play with, but they did add the online fe online feature late, like a couple months ago, and it I did go back and it was really fun and mario party superstars is going to have online functionality at launch so i'm really excited to play this with friends with with you know the community it's going to be a really fun online game we're all gonna get mad at each other we're gonna ruin friendships but it's all fun i just i just want to have fun this year it's been a long year and Mario Party is fun to me, Metroid's fun to me, WarioWare looks fun to me. So I can't wait to have fun. The last thing I have on my list, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. And we have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl coming out in November. I know a lot of people are skeptical of this game. They're, they don't really like the art style. They don't like the chibi art style. But it, I think it looks clean. It, 
brings me back to classic Pokemon. I, I started playing Pokemon in Pokemon Red, so I'm used to the top-down little chibi looks. I've never played Diamond and Pearl, so this will be my first time experiencing Gen 4. The underground stuff looks very fun. Uh, I hope they have some type of integration with the other games. Maybe they bring back some older things like Mega Evolutions. I hope they don't bring back HMs. I know they said it's going to be a true-to-form remake of these games, but I hope they leave those HMs out. They can't bring them back. I am too used to not having to have an HM Pokemon on my team. But I can't I can't wait. I actually am a a huge Lucario fan now because of Pokemon Unite. So I've never played a Gen 4 Pokemon game and Lucario is like the Gen 4 Pokemon and it's one of my favorites now because of Pokemon Unite. And I I'm, I'm just excited for this game too. The everything Pokemon coming out looks amazing we had pokemon unite come out recently and i've been playing that game so much i probably put like 100 hours into it it's only been out for a month a month and a half so i'm just back on that pokemon train i'm ready for legends arceus i'm actually i'm wearing a pokemon hat today so i'm on that pokemon hype train let's go now those are just the games there is one more thing that i'm excited for yeah one more thing I have a day one switch. I've had this since March 3rd, 2017. So we're four and a half years into it. It's feeling kind of old. I cannot wait for the Nintendo Switch OLED system. With the extended battery life that I'm used to because my Switch dies within like an hour and a half to the kickstand because my kickstand pops off like super easily. Like it's so flimsy. Even if I'm not in tabletop mode, it just falls off which is not good. I'm, I'm sick of that. Uh, we got the OLED screen. You have the LAN adapter. You have some additional memory. There's a lot of things that I'm actually really excited for. I know a lot of people are not excited for the OLED. I also have the Switch Lite, but I literally never use this thing. So it's useless to me. I, I need a new system. And since we're not getting a Switch Pro, I'm going to pick up the OLED for now. Hopefully in the near future, in like a year, a year and a half, a year or two, we get a Switch Pro that is what we actually want. More power, more resolution. But the OLED's gonna hold me over until then. And I can't wait. But I'm really excited for Nintendo's 2021 fall lineup. Let me know if you are too. Let me know what games you're getting. Let me know anything that I missed that you are excited for. I forgot to talk about Tetris Effect that's coming to the Switch. Day and date with the OLED. That game's gonna look fantastic on the OLED screen. And I, I might just play Tetris Effect in handheld just to see what it looks like because it's gonna look awesome. But let me know in the comments below what games you're excited for, what things you're excited for, what you're upset about, what you ate for dinner, whatever. You're, if you're glad to see me back making an actual video, just let me know. But thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and uh, have a good one.